Hey there, today we're gonna do a little bit of meal prepping for breakfast. So if you're the kind of person who wakes up in the morning and you dread the idea of even thinking about what to make for breakfast, then this video is for you. Whenever you've got just a few moments to spare, you can make any one of the recipes we're making today. And then for all of the days that follow, you've got breakfast already figured out. You don't even have to think about it, which is really nice. And today's video is in partnership with our incredible friends over at Audible, but we'll chat more about them at the end. For now, let's make some brekkie. We'll begin with the savory recipe first. These make ahead refried bean wraps that are inspired by burritos. So this recipe is super easy to make. We're just gonna start by chopping up two red bell peppers and then we'll thinly slice two stalks of green onions. So there's only one more thing we need to prep before we start to assemble our wraps. And this is optional in case your local grocery store doesn't carry it or if you don't love it. But I'm just gonna be using about 175 grams of this vegan mince. It kind of resembles ground beef. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in two tablespoons of a burrito spice mix. I also just got this from our local grocery store just to speed it up. But if you'd prefer to make your own burrito spice mix, we've got a recipe for it on the blog. So I'll leave that link for you in the description box below. So once we've mixed this all together, we can just set it aside. Now we can crack open a can of refried beans and we can already start assembling the wraps. We're gonna spread a generous amount over each half of about six large tortilla wraps. If you'd also prefer to make your own homemade refried beans, we actually have a recipe for this on the blog too. So I'll also link that for you below. Then over top of the beans, we're gonna sprinkle some of our spiced vegan mince, following it up with the diced bell peppers and some sliced green onions. And then we're also gonna add some corn, some optional cilantro, some sliced black olives, and my favorite, pickled jalapeno. Then we can gently fold the sides of our wraps in and then we're gonna roll it up and transfer this to a baking tray. Then all that's left is just to repeat this with the rest of our wraps. Once all of our wraps have been transferred to a baking tray, we're gonna pop these into the oven at 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for about seven to 10 minutes or until they're lightly golden on the top. If they don't become golden in that time, you can always turn on the broil setting for a minute and that should do the trick. So we've only made six wraps here, but you could easily, using the new scaling feature on our new website, you could scale that up or down. These are really awesome to batch make, so you might probably want to scale it up because they easily also last two months in the freezer, which is really nice. And all you have to do is just pop it in the microwave or in the oven to heat it up. It's super flavorful to enjoy as is, or if you'd like, feel free to serve it with some salsa, guacamole, avocado slices, or hot sauce. You can enjoy these wraps right on the spot, or once they've fully cooled down, you can transfer them to an airtight container and then store them in the freezer. That way you've got a filling and super quick meal whenever you need it. For the next recipe, we're making these Cereal Crunch Frozen Yogurt Breakfast Bars. So you might remember that a couple of years ago, we shared a recipe for these oat-based yogurt breakfast bars and they were such a hit. We had so many of you making them and sending photos to us, sharing how much you enjoyed it. So we decided to develop another breakfast bar recipe, but this time we're changing things up. To a food processor, we're gonna add in one cup of a creamy peanut butter, or you could use any other nut butter that you'd prefer. We're also gonna add in half of a cup of dates with the pits removed and half of a cup of an unsweetened plant-based milk and two tablespoons of ground flax seeds. Then we're gonna blend everything together until it's super well combined, stopping to scrape down the sides as needed. So if you don't have a food processor, you can still make this recipe. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you buy dates that are super soft, and then you can mash it together with a fork as well as you possibly can, and then combine all of the ingredients together in a bowl. It's gonna require quite a bit of mixing, so it's a bit of manual labor, but it should work out just fine. Now, once it's all mixed together, we're then gonna transfer this mixture to a bowl, and we're gonna to add to it one and a half cups of cereal flakes. So let's talk about these cereal flakes for just a second. The options are you could use something like bran flakes, or you could use corn flakes, or what we've got here is these rice flakes that have some freeze-dried little berries in there, which is really nice, but any of them should work out, so whatever cereal you like is great. The main thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you choose one that's low in sugar, because we've already naturally sweetened this with dates. So once we've added the cereal to the bowl, we're also gonna add in one cup of a puffed grain. We're using puffed rice, but puffed quinoa or puffed spelt works here too. It's gonna give the base of these bars such a lovely crunch and chew. And then we're gonna mince up about half of a cup of dried cranberries. Just make sure to cut them up really small. Otherwise, if they're a little bit too big, the base of the bars might crumble more easily. And once we've added this to the bowl, we can get in there with our hands and gently fold and mix it all together. Try not to apply too much pressure or squeeze too much as you're folding. We want those cereal flakes to keep some of their shape and form if possible. We're then gonna transfer this mixture to an eight by eight inch square baking dish lined with parchment paper, and then flatten the mixture out first with our hands, and then get in there with the back of a spoon or a cup and press and compact it as much as possible so that it holds itself together when we're ready to eat it later. 
Then over top of this base, we're gonna pour one cup of plant-based yogurt. Any kind of plant-based yogurt that you love is great. We're gonna follow this up with just a little bit of crushed freeze-dried berries. I actually just fished mine out of my box of cereal, but you could skip this or top it with some fresh or frozen berries if you'd like. And then comes my favorite part. We're gonna add a little bit of lemon zest to the top, which is gonna make these bars taste super refreshing and summery. Then we're gonna pop this into the freezer until it solidifies, which takes just a few hours. Once we've taken it out of the freezer, we're gonna let it sit and thaw for about five minutes just so that it's easier to cut, and then we can slice them into little bars. These cut bars can then be transferred to an airtight container, separated with pieces of parchment paper so that they don't stick together, and then you've got breakfast ready to grab and enjoy whenever you need it. I find that it's best to let these thaw a little bit before you enjoy it so that the yogurt softens a bit. It's just the perfect cool summer breakfast in warmer months. For the final recipe, we're making a double chocolate granola because any day that starts with a bit of chocolate is sure to be a good day. So I'm gonna be using my food processor for this and that's just because I'm totally lazy. If you don't have a food processor, you don't need it. You can always chop up some of the ingredients by hand if you'd like to, or just don't chop anything at all. The chopping is definitely optional. So to our food processor, we're gonna add in two cups of rolled oats and then half of a cup each of raw pumpkin seeds, raw sunflower seeds, raw walnuts and raw pecans. So we've added walnuts and pecans, but you could add any nut that you know that you love. Almonds would be awesome, cashews would be great, um, but nuts do also tend to be a little bit pricey. So if you know that nuts are not in your budget, you don't need to add it. You could sub it out for equal parts, either sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. They tend to be a lot more affordable and they're just as nutritious. Now back to the food processor, we're also gonna add in a third of a cup of cacao or cocoa powder, a quarter of a cup of shredded coconut, an optional two tablespoons of chia seeds plus half of a teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna give it a few pulses to roughly chop the oats, nuts, and seeds. And then we can move on to adding in our wet ingredients. So we're gonna pour in about half of a cup of maple syrup, a quarter of a cup of melted coconut oil, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. When the blades have been removed from the food processor, we're gonna mix this all together using a spoon or spatula. And once it's fully mixed, we're then gonna transfer this all to a parchment-lined baking tray. Be sure to spread out the granola as evenly as you can on your baking sheet, and then you can pop it into the oven on the center rack. It's gotta be preheated at 340 Fahrenheit or 170 Celsius, and we're gonna let this bake for about 20 minutes, stopping once at the halfway point to give it a stir. While the granola continues to bake away, we're gonna chop up about 50 grams of dairy-free dark chocolate. And then once we remove the granola from the oven, we wanna let it cool completely before we add in the chocolate chunks because we don't want the chocolate bits to melt on contact. So once those chocolate chunks have been added, we're gonna gently toss it to coat. And then that's pretty much it. This delicious chocolatey granola is prepped and ready to enjoy throughout the week. You can enjoy it with some plant-based yogurt. I love it with coconut yogurt. Or you could enjoy it with some fresh fruit, whatever is your favorite. Or you could enjoy it like cereal with some plant-based milk. It's crunchy, delicious, and incredibly satisfying. Seriously, breakfast will never have tasted so good. I hope you enjoyed these recipes and that you hopefully get a chance to try one of them out on meal prep night, perhaps. Uh, if you're looking for the full breakdown to any one of the recipes, I'm gonna link those for you in the description box below, as always. And we've done plenty of other videos in the past on just breakfast ideas. So if you're looking for even more inspiration, I'll leave those video links for you as well in the description box below. And thank you so much again to our friends over at Audible for partnering with us on today's video. It is seriously no exaggeration when I say that audiobooks have like single-handedly changed my life. I have been listening to them for years and I feel like it's just such an easy easy way to learn new things and to be inspired or just to feel entertained because you can listen to it while you're exercising or while you're cleaning or even while you're cooking and meal prepping. I just finished listening to a novella by Frederick Backman called And Every Morning The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer. And for an audiobook that's only an hour long, I have never felt so many emotions in such a short time. It's a really heartwarming story about this young boy and his grandfather and the grandfather's having troubles holding on to his precious memories. And it's just so poetically written. It's 
It's all about family and love and compassion. I really recommend it. Just prepare yourself to feel a lot of feelings. <laughs> um, so if you'd like to get it for free, you can get it or any other audiobook of your choosing by visiting audible.com forward slash pickup lines. Plus you're gonna get a 30 day free membership of Audible. And while you've got that membership, be sure to check out the Audible Plus catalog. This is where members can go to to get access to thousands of audiobooks and podcasts and guided fitness and meditation programs just included right in your membership. So check out the link in the description box below to learn more about that. And thanks so much for hanging with us today. I really appreciate it. Pickup Limes signing off and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> what a struggle. Okay. <laughs> I think it's like that every time. It's not a bad idea. Because I can't, I also, if I let go, it's gonna fall. Hold on. Okay, ready? Three, two. Damn it! I mean, there's something, there's something there. Do not touch your eye after you have touched jalapenos. Just don't do it. Baby, don't hurt me. What is love? Make more or less using the new scaling feature on a new website. So depending on it lets you do that. This recipe is honestly, why did I do this? It's here. <laughs> um, and if you're looking for even more breakfast inspiration,